Hi, I'm Shane Shapiro for Gulf Coast Ultrasound Institute with today's hot tip on how to recognize the suprapatellar pouch if there's no synovial fluid located in it, sometimes called a dry knee. So when preparing to perform an ultrasound guided knee injection, I will typically start with the probe oriented longitudinally on the patient's knee where we can identify five distinct structures. Starting from superficial, the skin and subcutaneous tissue, followed by the more fibrillar compact quadriceps tendon. Deep to the quadriceps tendon is the pre-quadriceps fat pad, and then our target, the suprapatellar pouch. Deep to the suprapatellar pouch is the prefemoral fat pad, and then the femur itself. Unfortunately, sometimes the suprapatellar pouch will not be easily identified if the knee is dry. One trick to help identify the suprapatellar pouch is to keep the probe anchored on the patient's knee and have the patient flex and extend the knee to herniate some fluid into the suprapatellar pouch. In doing so, we are able to see a much more clearly defined appearance of the suprapatellar pouch. In between the pre-quadriceps fat pad and the prefemoral fat pad. Once we've identified our target structure, the suprapatellar pouch, we can then rotate the probe 90 degrees to a transverse orientation where we can very nicely see our target for an in-plane approach into the knee joint via the suprapatellar pouch. And that's our hot tip for the day. Now you give it a try.